Welcome back to Herbomatic. A quick recap of the bombshell to elevator project is we found out the wife was logging into this dog to spy on me. And then we tried to fix these stairs, but we decided to go to Walmart. We bought this hardware. And within just a few minutes, we were able to come up with this device here, which is pretty impressive. But it was manually operated, and the wife caught me doing this in the shop. I told her I was thinking about her, but she didn't believe me, so I converted it to electric, so that wouldn't happen anymore. We were missing a bunch of our sockets, so we decided to mate our two best sets together. We'll see what happens. And then uh, we had a nice trip on our uh, elevator. <laughs> And then after that, uh, we made this torture rack to try to get even with the wife, but she cast a spell on us, so I had to start doing CrossFit to try to impress her. She wasn't impressed, so I had to sleep in this doghouse next to bomb shelter. So I jumped into my old college skinny jeans, and I did the mating dance every husband's familiar with. And then I did some burnouts in the parking lot for good measure. That pretty much impressed her, but I had to take the blood oath, which is customary for red-headed wives. And then uh, we made up, so here's a real-time accounting of that. Fine to go in and out. Doesn't care about that. Always better to have that extra inch, fellas. You know what I'm talking about. Then we rode the extended elevator too high and bumped our heads on the power lines and died. And here's the bus to heaven. They said they had to keep it above 50 miles an hour or it'd blow up for some reason. And uh, here's my stock portfolio in real time right now. Uh, and then I made the most complicated way in the world to hit a limit switch. People on the internet after seeing that last clip. Then we introduced our merch store. Sales at the merch store really fire. And we found out what happened to people who watch the channel but don't uh, don't subscribe. They have to walk the plank here. And then get their car scratched up by Amber Heard. And then have to defuse this while being derated by Amber Heard. A stripper and a crimper. Two pet names your wife won't appreciate. This tool converts bolts from SAE to metric and vice versa. Then we started selling these portable workbenches on our uh, merch website. It's pretty awesome, pretty sturdy, and really safe. And then we taught everyone how to properly charge batteries. It's not as intuitive as you would think. And then we built a time machine to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. And we just hit 15,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Stay tuned to the end, guys. This is the finale. I appreciate you sticking with me. Let's get started. All right, you guys, let's go down the bomb shelter. I think I'll take the stairs. Maybe I'll take the escalator instead. Maybe I'll just take a canoe. Or maybe I'll take the elevator. Austin, come make love to me. I can't, Vanessa. You're drunk. Let's get this thing put back together in preparation for installation. Over here on the table, we have all our hardware ready to go. And we have our lovely assistant here ready to help us today. Quit it. How would you get if I was just in a different place every time you turned around? I'd be irritated with you. Even more so than usual. You can also see that our little clearance trough here helps with the cable clearance. Okay, now we're going to do the finishing touches on our gate with these parts right here. The lanyards are attached. You can buy these caps for any size square tubing. And what they do is they protect you from all these sharp edges and stuff. What is it doing this? There it goes. Oh. Super easy to put in, folks to warm it up first before it fits. Okay, our safety gate is completely done.
Here's the old shelter. Let's get it cleaned out and prepped for the elevator. So you go open the door, babe. So easy, even a baby can do it. A big one. <laughs> one baby coming up. It's good. We gotta get the fuel pump, the the car, the wood, and the toilet seat out of there. We have two assistants now. <laughs> this one's useless. The dog. <laughs> the dog thinks you're clarifying. <laughs> One pee's on everything. And the other one's named Dude. Oh my God. Okay. You okay? Yeah, you fine. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's fine. I almost get you? I was worried about it. Why is there a seat belt down there? I don't know. Buckle up. <laughs> Whichever you guys commented that there'd be spiders down here, I think you guys were right. Let's go ahead and pop this open so we can um, have a little extra space. Hey, will you throw my gloves down? Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Sending them down with the bucket. Is there any lotion in this bucket? No. There is lotion in this bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke. <laughs> oh, no. I won't worry about this bone. What the hell? <laughs> You don't have to worry about that. Oh, look at these sweet shades. Does that look good, babe? No. Oh. Okay. You may be starting to overestimate me here. <laughs> okay, you can get it, right? I won't fill it as much next time. Get some rocks in there.
You think it's just muck? I think it's dried muck. It's dried muck. It's black mold. Well, a little black mold won't hurt you. Some of you guys might have noticed that when the door closes, it doesn't really close all the way. So you can see that there's a gap right there. And uh, so what we're gonna do is, let's cut the lip back on the front of the door so that it seals. So uh, knock off any burrs so nobody gets cut. Perfect. That's the crazy look you're getting. What would you do if I just hopped on that broom and flew away? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It's all just been a trick to, no, no. No, no. to get no, rid no. of the redheaded witch. <laughs> I don't witch. want to be on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my broom. <laughs> Come here. I worked it all out, and this one interferes with the elevator. Now, it originally came out like that to clearance the stair runner, well, that's not necessary anymore. Put it where? In the back. Careful, it could fall. Hang on. Okay. Oh, babe. We get this extra weight off of here. There, that provides some kind of stableness. Do you want to strap it to the dollies? We're only going to there. Yeah, okay. I regret leaving the tray attached, to be, to be honest with you. Oh. What do you want me to do? Nothing, just relax.
Wait, 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 wait. The dolly is what's keeping it. You want me to unstrap the dolly? Okay, now unstrap that dolly. <laughs> <laughs> The elevator is lifted just slightly off the bomb shelter door by our gantry there. I almost dropped it about half a dozen times where it started to swing out of my control. The elevator is actually going to install itself. It's self-installing. You don't have to do anything. Just stand back and let it install itself. Call Herbco and order Order yourself a Herbomatic bomb shelter elevator. Installs itself in seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, uh, keep, wait a minute. Keep going. Okay. Oh, that's as far as it goes. Okay. So, now that's happening. I don't want you getting messed up here. slide the gantry back because it's that shouldn't be hard at all okay didn't want to swing back violently and then it did so the mission to not scratch the paint guys has become secondary <laughs> just trying to survive hanging by its own winch right now. I have it through a double snatch, so it's, or through a double cable, so it should, uh, should be good for 1,300 pounds, and this is less than that, so. Now we have a small gap between the back wall and the elevator. So let's send her down. Uh-oh. The gantry breaks. I don't want to miss that shot of the elevator. Yeah. Is this still ticking? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna start sending. Let her down. Some more. Keep going. Stop. Stop. Wasn't stressful at all. No, it was easy peasy. You guys can't really tell because of the lighting conditions, but the board I was using to pry on it is sitting under it, unfortunately. So I gotta go down there and pull the board out. You could just climb the elevator down. I was joking. Go up with it, a scoochie. Okay, hang on. Get out of there. Keep going. Keep going. Stop.
I hitting on? Oh yeah, the you know what's hitting is the uh, the handle I planned on removing. covering up a gouge in the wood or maybe they originally just wanted to make a pocket handle well we're running out of day so uh, I'm gonna close it up for today and tomorrow we'll level it and bolt her down All right, it goes from the winch up to our top pulley, back down to our elevator pulley, and back up to our bolt. Oh, my paint marker. <laughs> How is it still shaking? It's probably still good. We may need some shims if it's out of level. We're gonna need these for the vampires. Let's grab some of these steel feet. Okay, here's what's interesting. It's, it's slid all the way to one side down here, but it's damn near level up there. Or I mean, it's damn near centered up there. Floor's a little unlevel, so we'll slide some shims under it and fix it up. Looks like it's leaning to the right a little bit. So our bubble confirms our suspicions. Let me go ahead and get this tray out of the way. We'll use one of these. Those shims brought us right bang on. Let's check with the super level. Let's experience some of that true level. Blower mines. Oh yeah. That's pretty, it's pretty level. Here's the view under the tray. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, did I let that go too far? And then I stand under it, stupid. Our conduit and stuff clears on this side. <laughs> Got that, I'm blowing to the sucky. Turn that around.
You home, babe? What are you doing? I, I came to see if you uh, did you did you see me working earlier? No, I just got home. Oh, you just got home. I have not been riding it up and down without it anchored. We have to be careful with this black line or we'll lose our telephone signal. Yeah, we got to get this all anchored and install our safety systems before anybody rides it. She is anchored down. We are nearing the end of this very long road. Okay, now we need to install our SRL, our safety line. God damn it. How did that hit the dirt immediately? Is that even possible? Baby snake at the end. For the open end, we'll have to bring a croissant wrench for the jam nut. I'll bring the hammer because you always need a hammer. Okay, our SRL is installed. The wife has come home from work and she's prepared to help us. <laughs> Finally, she does something besides work. Oh my God. All right, our elevator's fully functional, except for our top limit switch. So let's grab all the parts for that. There's the dogs are locked behind the little gate so they don't pee on all the tools. Hey, you know what I wish? I wish you'd put the safety gate on while you're doing that. Okay. Go, go grab it. The woman has admitted she loves me and is going to get the gate. Our safety gate. <laughs> that better? I feel relieved. <laughs> Do you feel better? <laughs> uh, feel, yeah. I don't fall. You don't ever fall. I don't do that. Let's just put a dollop of grease on this little part here.
Okay, that's where it's stopping us. It's not bad. Would like to be about right here. Let's use this one and see what that does for us. That's really good. It's about a thumb. I'm happy with that. All right, let's finalize all our hardware. So I want to put some washers in here. We'll go tight, and then we'll just back it off quarter turn. Perfect. Okay, I just want to put a washer in between these two so they don't rub. Since we removed the old wooden handle for clearance reasons, we're going to need a new handle. And I was thinking one of these from the that we cut off the original lift would be perfect. The fire helps the weld to cool down slower, so it's less brittle. This is actually a feature. The steel on our handle is dried, so it's nice and strong. I actually like to use the 5 16 washer instead of the 3 8 on these. It just makes a nicer fit. That looks pretty good to me. We'll bring a spare grinder and a paper towel holder. I wonder why I didn't bring an impact for this. Okay, let's try out our new handle. Ah, oh, it's way better. I had to remove this section of track here to clear our safety. It was hitting on the edge of this, our safety hanger. Because when I originally measured the clearance, I only took into account the center part, which clears just fine. But then I added this offshoot without thinking and it was hitting our uh, track. But that doesn't matter because the track is for the rear wheels back there only and you can see where the door opens two-thirds of the way and stops you can actually see the wear on the track and this this edge right here where we cut this this edge is razor sharp Right now, I just have a cord running down to the elevator over this lip here, and I don't really like it at all, even temporarily, because it just keeps getting hit by the door. This end's missing its ground lug anyways. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, let's plug it in. This is an in-use outlet, so we can just leave it plugged in. Kylie, you've got to ride this. No. You excited? Yes. You nervous? No. It should be. Okay, bye. <laughs>
Keep going. I don't want to go alone. <laughs> you don't want to go alone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you gonna hit it? Hit it. Show us you getting on there and riding it up. I'm leaving you down here? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And all? No. All right, bring her back down. This whole time, it was actually just another can crusher build video, guys. YouTube got you again. So the elevator doesn't come up flush but it, uh, it comes up pretty good. And the other thing too, is you have to remember that it's kind of like stepping into a tub. So you're really not stepping down very much. But you go ahead and show us, honey. Yeah, it's really a non-event. Hey, did you want to check out something cool? Like in my underground bomb shelter? No. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> got, uh, there's, there's uh, candy down there. I doubt it. Now I've got you. So you stop there, you close the door, and then we come the rest of the way down. you guys there's no lights down here there's no nothing no 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 let's take a look at what the door looks like up there Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Does that freak you out? Buried alive, that's all. I'm gonna order a woman off Uber Women. You better not. Here it comes. In the post apocalyptic world, Uber delivers women to your bomb shelter. It's an irritating joke. And they still get just as irritated with you. <laughs> Been washing spider webs out of my hair ever since I started this project. He's gross. It's gross. <laughs> it 
probably, ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow, I've never seen wow. it all at once like that, or this well lit. Oh, cool. This is the crumbly termite couch. It's gonna be a fun project. I'm excited. Our next step is to clean all this stuff out of here. Probably a lot of it's gonna end up in the dump. Maybe we can save a lot of it too, I don't know. So neat. Right, there's so many rocks in here. Uh, I think the squirrel is bringing rocks down here. There's a little pile right here. Yeah, I know, the squirrel was was bringing oranges and rocks down here for some reason. All right, you guys, our next project is gonna be to clean out all this furniture and uh, sweep it out and get it ready for renovations. Now that we've got transportation, should be a breeze getting all this stuff out of here. All right, let me take this light to the top. Okay. Here, I'll take that. Send you up. And I'll come up after you. video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys next time when we clean this thing out remember to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time <laughs>